here. They're here with uh, Jahan Gandhi. She's the principal curator for the Pakistan Museum here at the Dubai Expo 2020. The facade is absolutely fascinating. Um, done by Mr. the visual artist Rashmana, and we're going to walk in with her and experience the wonderful pavilion that Pakistan pavilion that everyone's been raving about. So let's. So the pavilion is titled Pakistan: The Hidden Treasure. So what you're going to do is look at the some of the treasures. We'll reveal some treasures. Ah, let's let's look inside that. Be careful. Literally, the minute you enter the pavilion, everything that you see is done by hand and done in Pakistan. So there's nothing that is imported or just, you know, how we are. The whole trend is to look out for what is beautiful. I wanted to show that everything that we have is beautiful and contemporary. So these uh, triangles that you see are copper triangles, which are hand beaten. and be careful. Um, no, no, just allow them to keep coming because we will... Oh. Oh. Thank you. Hello, welcome to Pakistan. So these are hand-beaten copper okay. triangles made in Peshawar. So we had them designed and we worked out starting with that. And if you come this side and just look up to the ceiling, this, I'm sure you walked past and missed it. But this is a Tashi tile work. And the center medallion has been um, the source of inspiration from Makhli, uh, um, from Unoba Yes. So the largest necropolis that we have. But Nasapur uh, boasts of tile making for a long, long time. And what we try to do is everything here is given details of it. So there's also this again QR code which takes us to your website where the information is also there. So that's the Kashikari ceiling and it's uh, a being done in Nasapur. What I did want to ask you is about the facade. Does the shape and the color represent anything? The color, he calls them the, the colors of Pakistan. The diversity of colors of Pakistan, so representing the diversity. But as I explained to you, the building was designed by somebody else and probably he feel that's inspiration from the mountains. Okay. And he was given at that time emerging Pakistan's okay. title. So, okay. But Rashid worked on the facade, which was already existent and given to him. The, the colors are just stunning. It's very eye-catching. Yeah, yeah. And it keeps changing as the time of the day changes. So in the morning it's something else, afternoon it's sun does something else. And then you have the evening giving a different kind of a glow of the lights. So it's an ever-changing facade that we have. And as you enter this whole array of the dots, the tree that you see around here, is done by a potter from uh, And these are all replicas of the original uh, Mahindradaro and Harappan pottery. Yes, like and ancient uh, 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 so, art. But you know, this uh, archaeologist, Dr. Mark Kanoya, Jonathan Mark Kanoya, he lives in Wisconsin, has, has done a lot of research in uh, uh, Pakistan and written a lot. So through him, he's trained a, a family of craftsmen to reproducing what was done 3,500 years back. So it's the same identical technique. And you know, you should go with me because I go into too much detail. Ah, we'll, we'll <laughs> so you will never get to go in. Do focus on that. That is, that is really stunning. And this is, uh, again, what very is important um, yeah, motive of, from Mehergar. As you can see here, there is a broken clay tile. And Mehergar period begins around 7,000 uh, BCE. Is this the sun? Does it have a it's, sun? It's, yeah, but kind of sun, but it was like broken and painted like that. It's four quadrant. And it's the universe in four quadrants. Oh, okay. So the it talks a little about it. And uh, this artist was by it is very rough. He's a contemporary sculptor and he's worked it in brass. Beautiful. Then we had actually a miniature painter staying here for a month. And he's painted each one of the details. Was painted? Hand painted. On the wall, more than here. I thought they were like 
Chinese has been painted by a group of Chinese So uh, this is a copper timeline that we did. So actually everything has been done with great detail. And so the different periods in Pakistan is not 1947 is Pakistan, that's our history, which belongs to us. Yeah, and we should be going back 7,000 years. So he sat here and for one month painted each one of them. You look at it and close the one make out that's been done by the human. So I have I mean, the whole thing took him a month of me, but he had done perfectly well. Yeah, and he pushed him, he had done the whole part of it. That's really good. That's really good. The second portion is from, my inspiration was from Surah Yadu. And that's why I wrote this here. And it talks about, talks about light upon light. And so uh, that's when I started off thinking about this. How can I? Because Islam is a great concept. Everybody has such an uh, idea about it. But there's such beauty in its simplicity and its, uh, you know, this whole concept of light. So I wanted to play with that uh, reflection. And therefore, if you stand back you can see, we've got the light from the light now. So, uh, So um, I then went to Shish Mahal and from the ceiling of Shish Mahal, we are calling it Shish Mahal, the pathway with mirrors as it is here. And um, yeah. So Shah Jahan had built Shish Mahal for his beloved wife of Das Mahal. And so the entire ceiling is mirrored, as you know. And you take, in the olden days, you had one dia in your hand and sort of showed all around. So I went to search for factories remaining, if there was any, that was producing the, this mirror, which is concave. The concave, in the mirror, can you all produce it? That way? Yeah. And this is also all metal work here. Come a little bit this side and see yourself coming yeah. into it. Yeah. It's all of them. So this is all the multiplicity of the images. That is because of the shape. And it how, was how did you find uh, this artist? This is, what, this is <laughs> the making of the mirror was separate. Uh, studying and researching the actual mirror work it for was a different thing. Then reviving the craft with the craftsman who was doing it was a different uh, thing. So this is actually taking designs from Shishme but blowing them into a different scale so that it becomes a very contemporary feel and something that was done on the ceiling and done it on the wall. So you know this whole thing as I said, play of light upon light. And again look here, these are like small miniatures in the uh,
So, <laughs> then this was a yeah, brief project. I mean, suddenly you enter this large scape. You know, then what I've done in this landscape is I I've tried to depict two ancient cultures. One is the Mahana boat, the Pacific Mahana boat, which is on um, this river at the south. And that's the Kanasha up in the mountains. But these are both ancient communities who are still there to know. Still existing. Still existing. The Kopiya was doing it was revived after 55 years. Wow. Um, at uh, this boat making, they've forgotten all about so it. Are it's they making these again? And we documented through here okay. uh, the entire process. The boat was actually being made, started from cutting up the boat. So this is a new boat? This is a new boat. Wow. But uh, we started off by giving them, um, looked into archival photographs, see how it's making. You have to put a lot of water and gradually start turning to get this curve that comes in the boat. Uh, I love the, the farm, the karigari in this is. And so these films have been made by uh, I one of Pakistan's uh, greatest filmmaker, Nisan Malik. Okay. And he makes films for the uh, BBC, for National Geographic. And okay. So his camera is absolutely brilliant. It's, it's stunning. And he's, it's sort of, the idea I wanted was a very immersive feeling that you're it standing. Is. Like you feel like you're actually experiencing there. And, there. Yeah, and to also make you feel very small because in the when you go to the north you suddenly realize that you are to kuch nahi hai. And that's the kind of feeling I wanted here. I think so, also uh, Pakistan is so diverse in absolutely. geography. Absolutely. You have the desert, the mountains, you have the mountains, the glaciers and I noticed there were I mean the beautiful uh, animals. I think uh, some exactly the wildlife. And the, I saw a bear there as well, I saw that uh, the Sith Ibex. Yes. worked on my Aina Kari that I'd shown you. Okay. After he finished everything, the poor child died. Oh. Mm. oh okay. And then you know, like I was telling you about the rose petals. Yeah. <laughs> you can smell the rose. Can you smell uh, the I rose? I can smell it, yeah. And this is taken from Shah Rukhne Alam's window and just used it like, you know, it's so contemporary. Yeah. And it's all how you work it out. And right. He's a sculptor okay. and I have a space and I wanted him to work out emblems. Ah. Not many one religion but 
is a conglomeration around the metal here. Yeah. So, so it's taken like a surma dani. Ah, this is like a surma dani. Yes. Surma dani base and spears and okay, yeah, but okay. These are just sculptural beautiful images yes. yeah, filling up the space with the different metals. Right, it's lovely. So it's like the old, as they call it, old, but I keep saying that's present. And then, so you breathe in and see, experience. Um, this music also is Rohit Hayat of Coke Studios. Yes. Has actually yes. done it as our signature. Wow. Yeah. It is. His music Lana is just Sera. amazing. He's very talented. The weather has also turned better now with the evening. Yes. Cool and you will find the tree in the colors. Maybe a tree project. Yes. Tree project in the land. Lovely. The Lagoon um, wanted it to be uh, to digitally work it out so it was the laser beams mm. and you cross them, sound of bird and sound of forest. Can get the birds, yeah. I'm constantly I'm trying to work with the craftsmen. Help and tell us about this wonderful uh, Kaaba here. Uh -huh. Why don't we start you off? Yeah. Instead of this, me introducing myself, we start yeah, you yeah. off with the Kaaba menu. All right. And then we can take the story from there. See, I'm learning from no Okay. <laughs> Yeah. It's, it's, it's with a sophisticated color palette. But, but there you go. There you go. Yeah, exactly. But lovely. But do tell us about this, the Dhaba. The Dhaba? Yeah. But I think this is our, in a way, you know, like the, the, talking about the hidden treasure. Right. And this is one of our hidden treasures here. And what we are trying to do is create uh, street food in the future. Okay. And we're trying to show, take you into the future and yet holding on to our past. You know, that's the whole concept here. I think people love our food, so I think this is going to be I a very mean, popular I'm, area. I'm amazed how crazy people have gone on the food here. Okay. You know, I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, they just love it. Maybe they miss home or whatever the reason is. Okay. But uh, uh, I think the, even the, I think the flavors are reasonably well done also, you know. And it's a, it's a fusion. You know, it is, you know, can't sit on the roadside and make it roadside. This, this is the contemporary version of the drama. Okay. 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 So there's uh, Itali here as well. I know, I know. <laughs> is all uh, to be done by Nahid uh, Bakshu She has done that. But of course, the job to be Akshat Faruqi and Sarkar. Gee, I recognize some of the copper and steel pieces over there. Wonderful job, Masha. Thank you so much. 
I designed the it's amazing. Would you like to talk a little bit about your experiences? It's beautiful. We never thought that yeah, these things existed in yeah, Pakistan. We never thought so. The flamingos and all the beautiful bikes and the mountains. Beautiful. And where are you from originally? Okay, lovely, lovely. So you are seeing it from a new perspective. Just as we are. We are also from Karachi. Yeah, definitely. She's done an amazing job. She's done a beautiful job.